but it's just so annoying. When two parts are immediately obvious, and then they just decide to hide the other one away. Is this one gonna be a puzzle too, like a timer one? I beg you not. Because like, yeah, we can't move that. Why can't we? No, we have to be able to. Please don't be a timer. Okay, then what do I do? What do I do? I guess maybe I... Maybe I don't know. I'm losing my mind. Maybe I lift it and then move it and... I don't know. I was gonna say maybe I use this to do the other one, but I don't know how I get the statue down there unless the lip got destroyed. In fact, I think that's exactly what happened. God damn it. Yep. Joy to the world, and all will sing. Kill me! three-part puzzle that really doesn't need to be here. It's a three-part puzzle with two parts that are immediately obvious, and then the other one that isn't. And that annoys me as all balls. Speaking of balls, look at Mr. Ball is here. Why is that one so fast? I still hate that. Oh well, it's dead anyway. So screw your fucking shit. I said screw it. Take the most powerful souls, bitches. And that is why I upgraded Hades' souls, because <laughs> screw you. Ain't gonna help when it comes to boss battles. With the stupid... Ooh, now you need to twist this way. Now you need to twist this way. Ooh, ooh. Also, I find it funny that the two heavy things are related. It's just like my immediate thing's like, ah, something heavy, here's a statue. Oh, you can't do that. Then I have to bring it over here anyway. Bother! You are bothering me! But oh well, now the puzzle... News thrash to myself. Please fucking save when you get back over there. Because we don't want to do all this setup again. But oh hey, insta-death! Because, aha! Insta-death! For the designers who don't know shit about designing! Seriously. Instant death is so freaking lazy. I complained about it during Final Fantasy XV. I'm complaining about it here. There is no stinking excuse for any instant death in any game unless it is precisely used. Like instant death in a fucking Mario. It's fine because those are level based and those levels are usually well designed. Come on, come on. Fuck. I'm getting... I'm getting so stressed out by this shit. But yeah, insta-death is 
most precisely used in... For a moment, I thought I got hit on a... Uh, hit... hitched on an invisible wall, and I was gonna scream. I was gonna scream so fucking loud if I got hitched on an invisible wall, because fuck that. But insta-deaths need to be precisely used. And if they're not, they just come off so shitty. Please reach it. God fucking damn it. Fuck your timers. It's a challenge. Timers for the designers that don't know how to design something actually challenging. No, I should take that back. Timers can be used to actually be challenging, so instead, timers. A tool that is misused so much by poor designers. It can be done correctly. It's just by people who don't know how to actually create challenge, they're used as an arbitrary tension builder. Something just like, ooh, time limit. Ooh, time limit. Are you feeling the tension? Isn't this a challenge? No. It's not. Nope. Fuck you. Also, that's extra annoying. So annoying. It's just like, ooh, now that you've gotten in, uh, we're gonna stop now. It's like, Jesus. Let me give you a nice massage, dear sir. And why was he stabbed? Did he kill himself, or did the gods order his death? Honestly, who knows? And his head disappeared. Let me just ask for a save point. A save point or no boss. One or the other. Because I do not want to do that again. Lions? What a fine ass. Getting to the point that I'm losing my mind so much. Okay, at least they offered a save. But yeah, insta death and time limits are fine if used correctly, but in this game, they're not used fine. Insta-deaths are used to punish the player for minor infractions in an otherwise mad challenge. It's like, ooh, here's a puzzle, or that didn't raise my soul count at all. Bullshit! Look at my beard, enter my beard, go suck a dick. But yeah, time limits are fine when used correctly because they can be used to build tension. But when it comes to that, I imagine like a big challenge. We're just like, you have three minutes, do all these things, and then it's optimizing your route. That really wasn't that much of a challenge. It was just annoying. It was an obstacle. Oh boy, loading. Get to the other side. Hades, Zeus, Poseidon. <laughs> Opens doors, close doors. Do I fight enemies on these? Yep. Because this is cheesy on the part of the developers. Oh, what's that? Oh, fuck. What's that? The... 
the player could abuse the stuff and knock enemies into insta-death traps? Well, make sure to make it so it's only enemies that can't die to insta-death traps. So much stun. And now the enemies have to come to me. Oh, maybe that isn't an insta-death trap. Yeah, I'm sick of your shit, so please die to ghosts. Because holy shit. Is there any statues that I need to cover things with to stop them from spawning? Yeah, that better not be an instant death at that point. Why aren't these things giving health? Why are there so many of them? Seriously, stop spawning them. Harpies, they dodge so much, they spawn so much. Why? Is there a thing I need to do? I don't want to do it. Stop it. Die. There's always one more goddamn party. Right off screen because, haha, <laughs> camera control! That was way too many harpies for my liking. Mainly because there can only be a certain amount at a time. It is an image of man battling Zeus himself. It is an image of the future. Technically, yeah. Technically, no. Okay, can we open the door? Or do we go one way? Nope. Open door. Kick. Give me fucking Pandora's box, assholes. The power to kill a god. Give it to me. I've come all this way. Kratos, your quest is at an end. You are the first mortal to ever reach Pandora's box. There is still time to save Athens. You must bring the box back to my city and use it to kill Ares. Return bring that entire Athens, thing back? Kratos. Return and save my city. <laughs> you can just see him thinking, bring this entire fucking thing back, are you fucking serious? Can we just cut back to Athens? Because I do not want to be dragging this thing across the fucking desert. Because, like, if it was just a small box, but it's not a small box. <laughs> no. I'm so happy. I'm so happy that we're at the start. I'm so happy. <laughs> it ain't a door. Oh boy, oh boy, I have to kick the fucking box, I have to kick the fucking box, I have to kick. You must bring Pandora's box back to Athens, Kratos. You cannot defeat Ares without it. I know. And you're just saying, bring it back, all the way back. Down the frickin' Titan.
Jesus Christ. After a thousand years, Pandora's box was at last freed of its I thought that was gonna take this is gonna take a thousand years to fucking drag it all the way to Athens. The god of war. Far away in Athens, Ares knew Kratos had succeeded in his quest. So, little Spartan, you've recovered Zeus's precious box, but you will not live long enough to see it opened. I will, I will take this see pillar. To that. <laughs> Goodbye, Spartan. You will rot in the depths of Hades for all eternity. That's As just the cheating. Began to leave Kratos. His thoughts returned to that fateful night. Even in death, the memories, the visions would not fade. For how could he forget spilling the blood of his own family? A cruel trick orchestrated by the God of War. My wife. How? Child. How? They were left in Sparta. You oh. are becoming all I'd hoped you'd be, Kratos. Now, with your wife and child dead, nothing will hold you back. You'll become even stronger. You will become death itself. But as the flames consumed the temple, Kratos realized his true enemy was the god who once saved his life. The same god who had now taken everything from him. Oh, I guess so. Ares! From this night forward, the mark of your terrible deed will be visible to all. The ashes of your wife and child will remain fastened to your skin, never to be removed. And with that curse, all would know him for the beast he had become. His skin white with the ash of his dead family. The ghost of Sparta had been born. In the end, in death, he had failed. As the minions of Ares claimed Pandora's box, Kratos's life faded, and his cursed soul was cast into the fires of Hades. Now I'd fight my way out of Hades. Kratos fell into the underworld, the river Styx beckoning below, the current strong enough to carry even the strongest mortal to his eternal resting place. But Kratos had no intention of resting yet. He intended to live, to return to Earth and complete oh, that his guy. quest. Let go, fool! You won't drag me down to that cursed river! There is a task left for me above. I will see it completed. You again? Go! Should have just cut to Athens, but no, just like plot hole. Because yeah, sure. Ares can just do that. Why didn't he do it sooner? Seriously, the moment he just like started killing all of them, you're just like, yeah. Unless he has plans for Pandora's box. 